Hey, hello, my sister dragoons. We are back, and and we got some more movie villains to deal with. After Majin Buu was destroyed, the Earth was created by peace. Whenever an is whenever an incident occurred, the Great Salmon appeared and, and, and resolved all problems. Sorry. One day, while Gohan and Videl were involved in Great Salmon duties, <laughs> they met Holy, a mysterious old man. A mysterious old man. According to him, the Earth was in great danger and required the help of the hero Tapion, who was trapped in Holy's music box. It was said that they could play the music box. The tape on could be released, but even Goku could not turn the handle. They used the Dragon Balls and asked Shenron to break the box's seal. With the seal removed, the young man playing an ocarina appeared out of the music box. He was a hero tape on, but he did not like to deal with others for some reason. But Trunks was very interested in him. At the same time, the lower half of a giant monster appears in the city. Gohan is one step ahead from cornering the monster when it vanishes with the sound of the ocarina. The top half of of Gem, uh, Genma, a uh, herd I don't know. A monster who once attacked plant, once had plant Kata, uh, Kanats. In the southern galaxy, was sealed in the body of Tapion. When attacked, the city was the bottom half that was sealed within Tapion's brother. At one point, and the one who created was killed. Tapion's brother to resurrect the lower half was Holy himself. Tapion and Trunks became friends and lived together in Capsule Corporation. By the attraction of Herdigan's upper and lower half was strong. Was strong. Eventually, the seal of the upper half was broken too. The Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks' efforts had seen that Herdigern was defeated. However, I basically think Aeon raised a giant monster, so. and it was too powerful to be contained, so they sealed it inside their best warrior and his, and his uh, younger brother. And they have to stay in that music box so that way the guy won't break out. Until this movie. And fortunately, uh, Tapion and this guy is not canon either. But look at this fucking son of a bitch. He looks like, he looks like a demonic insect. Shit. Just deck the head, that's basically all there is, but... But the thing is, he can teleport. That was pretty fucking easy. Oh, wings. Nice. He missed. Yeah, he can fucking teleport. Damn it! I fucking hate those ones where it has to be like spot on. Jesus fucking Christ. Nailed it! Oh fuck. Fire breath. Of course that doesn't. Shit. I'm surprised this doesn't take damage. Very much. Why don't you just fucking use it? Oh. Never mind, he was using it. Jesus Christ, his fists. Just bring your head down. Or your fist. That work. Where are you? There you are. Nice. 
Sweet. Come on, big guy. What you got for me? You missed. You missed again. Gotcha, bitch. Super Saiyan 3. Never forgive me for this, no matter what. Of course, because this is something you will never forgive. Alright. <laughs> Perfect. I have to wait till the moment he switches to his true form to attack. This is already his true form, dude. I didn't even feel that. Ha! Gaki son of a bitch. Come on. Give me your best shot. I think this is movie 13. Like, Dragon. It's just one move coming up. Check this out. There we go, first try. The best move ever. He summons a fucking key. He summons a fucking golden Shenron and just. and just fucking. Punches his opponent to death. In fact, that's how I be this son of a bitch. Look at this. Look at this. Yee-hoo! Boom, baby! Um, um, oh my god, that's fantastic. I was about to watch. Unfortunately, that move is not canon, and neither is that guy. Because again, movies are not considered canon. For 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 whatever fucking reason, I guess it's because they couldn't really find much of a way to fit in terms of timeline. Does that mean that um a, a battle of gods is not is uh, non-canon? Because that's when we first found about the Super Saiyan God. And actually, and oh my God, best best character right here, Super Saiyan Four Gogeta. And if you've seen Dragon Ball GT, where's this going? Fifteen years since the battle with Majin Buu, after Goku returned from his training with Oob, he, he was transformed into a child by the ultimate Dragon Balls. That's how the story begins. The ultimate Dragon Ball scattered across the universe after the wish was granted. If they are not returned to the planet where the wish was granted within a year, the planet will be destroyed. Goku and the others set off into space. On their journey, they... <laughs> on, their, on, on their journey, they defied all powerful enemies in their way. Without all, with all of the Dragon Balls collected, Goku returned to Earth only to find all under the control of the evil baby. Yes, that's an actual character name. At the time of the fierce battle with Baby, Super Saiyan 4 Goku delivers a, st a stunning victory. With the Earth facing destruction, Piccolo joins his fate to the ultimate Dragon Balls to bring peace back back to the planet. However, the peace did not last long. By the hands of two genius scientists, the, and the Android 17s refused, creating Super 17. Super 17 plunged the world into terror once again. He defied these, these super warriors, but in the end he was defeated by Goku's Dragon Fist and Kamehameha. They call forth Shenron to restore the cities and, and people destroyed in the fight, but a different Shenron filled with evil energy appears. It seemed Goku and the others had too many wishes in, in a short time. Minus energy built, built up with each of their wishes gave birth to the evil dragons, thus begun the fierce battle with the seven evil dragons. And now, the last battle for the fate of the universe was about to begin. So, yeah. 
so yeah, that basically summed up the entire um, GT saga. And GT was my personal favorite. I fucking loved GT. It's not very long for starters, only like 64 episodes. And, ooh. But, but anyway. I just, I don't know, just like, it felt like a natural, it felt like a natural progression for the series, except for Goku being turned into a kid. I don't know what the fuck they thought there. But, but anyway. Anyway, it's not canon because they didn't want because it went against the original creators. It went against the uh, original creators' um um intentions. And, and that motherfucker right there. You took three of my punches, and all you got was a bloody nose. Yeah. That guy is Omega Shenron. The evil dragon, if he, if he uh, absorbs all seven Dragon Balls, and they're, and they're all right on his chest. And I say that Omega Shenron is a pain to fight against in a in a hero mode. Oh fuck! He's yes. So just do square attacks. Hey, we both got each other. And it's so cute. Okay, um... Let's... Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Two triangle, one square. Yes. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a problem with counters. It's a crapshoot sometimes. And... Demon Death Ball. That actually sounds like a badass name, actually. And unfortunately, I didn't build up shit because I thought that I could. Ugh, whatever. And square? Yes! And I say that um, Super Saiyan 4 was like the best transformation and not this uh, Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan God Blue or. Or, um, or, um, Ultra Instinct that we got now, just fucking... Seriously? I didn't even... I didn't even have a chance, asswipe. Yeah. And it's bringing you to a mandatory cutscene. And his reaction? Wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, I felt that. Yeah, it worked. That felt great. <laughs> it is equivalent of a massage. You what? Say, next time, could you hit me right here? My shoulders are always so stiff. It'll help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's the... Fuck. Damn it! Fuck you! Damn it! Damn it! I can never win that! Charge up then. Fuck! Come on, come on, come on! Damn it! Come on! Fuck! Damn it! Ow! Fuck! Come on! Come on! Come on! Just work with me! Yes, thank God! Come on! Bingo! God damn it, I never had this much problem when I was facing him the first time. Son of a bitch. Bingo, at least I got that. Shin, what? What was that move? 
Explosive e explosion wave. Great. Let's try this. All right. I'll show you my super attack. Bingo. A shining raid. That's okay. Okay, that's that's a thing. As a feel, I swipe. Impossible. I'm saying right now, I am not looking forward to him in um, hero mode. This guy's fucking insane. But you will. Minus energy power ball. <sighs> fucking hell! God damn it. This kills me. I'm calling it now. Yeah. Fuck. God damn it. You lose. Fuck you, Omega. What are we trying next? Fucking hell. I hate this ass wipe. Like this guy? <laughs> and I didn't bother dealing with um, multiple directions for square attacks because, like, they don't really do a whole lot. Oh yeah! I can get my uh, range attack back up. Let's go! Booyah! Impossible. This can't be happening. Not to me. Not to me. Oh, be baby. Be baby. Even you won't be able to dog this. And sorry. Is that all you got? I will defeat you. Oh, you wanted to have me, Tandy. Fuck you, I'm getting that. Fuck you! Oh, my control won't stop vibrating. After taking that much solid punishment, even you can't have escaped unscathed. What? <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. We already had this. Stop talking right here. Booyah, bitch! <laughs> Get the fuck out of my way. Yep. Yep, yep. His signature move. A fusion of both the Big Bang attack and and the uh, and the uh, Kamehameha wave. I may as well get some more key. Damn it. I'll have to just block. At least it won't take as much damage. So there's so so there's that. You s well, 
Which well wait, which do you wait, which uh, pronunciation do you mean? Underworld or hell? Because the text said underworld, but but we actually said send you to hell. Come on, you son of a bitch. God damn it. God damn it, of course you don't of course you don't get that. Oh yeah. I'll send you to the other world with this. Full power. Look at this shit. No, oh, my camera. Why didn't you say who the hell are you? Jesus Christ. Is it that hard to do? Finish. And he did. But that's not how it ends in the original series, though. In the original series, Goku just used a spirit bomb in order to get rid of him, but, but it was so powerful because it had energy from the from the entire galaxy. Or something like that. And that's it! That's all of actual story mode. So, I'm going to say back to main credits here. Not main credits, <laughs> I mean menu. And a few capsules. We can go on to hero mode. Now, I just want to show you something really quick before I get on to hero mode and um um well before we go to actual hero mode, here's something that I wanted to do. Uh okay, so you can choose between three different types of characters. There's standard, good balance of attack and defense. This type can learn many types of moves and and super attacks through training and is the most and is also the most customizable. Light types they specialize in in, in blast range attacks and defense, though. The smallest type is most talented of of all the three types of the use of key. This type can learn a limited range moves and super attacks, though. And finally, there's heavy types, <laughs> specializing in melee range attacks and defense. This physical, this physically gift type can deal out the, the most powerful melee attacks of the three types. This type can learn a limited range of moves. Oh, shit. Shit. No. And and super attacks for training. Anyway, so anyway, so you can choose between a heavy physical hitter, a great a a great long range attacker or something that's balanced out of all three of them now it has been a while since I've actually played with any of them so I, so I wouldn't know how they work <laughs> anyway but but for, but exactly for which type I'll get into, well, I'll say that for when I actually get into Hero Mode. So until then, my good friends, reach for the stars.